Aw, yeah. Today is officially the fully mutated otter zoo enclosure, as well as actually getting the fully mutated otters. I know I said this in the last episode and ended up just being a zoo tour, but you never know what's going to happen when you start recording. And I'm really glad that I did that, actually, because many of you posted some amazing recommendations for the otter zoo enclosure. So we're going to work on that now. And I decided that I really wanted to put this into the middle of the zoo, uh, at least at the middle of the entrance, because we've got all this open space and it needs to be filled with something. And what better to fill this spot with than a freaking otter cuddle area. So to start off with this build, um, I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know how to exactly what I'm going to do for the outskirts of it. But I know I want to build a water area. Now, somebody in the comments mentioned, you know, there are these water fountains in the, uh, what is it called? The Eco's Garden Decor. And that was a brilliant idea. So we've got a bunch of rocks. And what I'm going to try and do is actually place these rocks around a couple fountains to make it look like it's actually a natural occurring water thing. Uh, now if I can get this to be actually inside of here, I don't know if that's going to look good or not. <laughs> I might just actually pick this up. Oh, no, I picked up the wrong thing. So we've got this here and I've got a bunch of different rocks that I want to try and place around this. They have to be the right size to not actually take up all the water. Okay, yep, that's way too big. Way, way, way too big. I got a couple different size rocks here, though. All right, so we need some medium sized rocks, but not huge rocks. So we don't have the perfect sized rock yet. But we, we might actually be able to find one out of all of these. I mean, we got a lot of rocks here. One of these has to be the right size to make this work. It just has to. <gasps> that might be a little too big still. Okay, so I do like how that goes on there. Now, I can actually possibly... Oh, that's a flat rock. <gasps> Interesting. So, we got a bunch of these flat rocks. Maybe what I can do is I can just stack a bunch of these rocks to kind of make it look good. And we'll obviously put trees and stuff as well. And then I want to put a couple of these fountains along all of this. Uh, to make it kind of like a bigger little watering area. So, I don't know why this one snaps higher than the other one. It's very interesting. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mess around with this just a little bit. See if I can make it not look like hammered ass. And we'll be back. Oh yeah. So... This actually has come out quite a bit better than I thought it would. And there's still a couple things that I want to do with this. I've got a couple other things I want to try and see how it looks. Although I don't, I don't know if it's going to actually work. What is that? Oh no, oh no. That was a horrible mistake. There we go, okay. So let's not do that. But otherwise, this has come out pretty nice. So we have actually at least got some water now, which is a lot better than not having any water. I feel like an otter zoo enclosure would look absolutely dickerish. It would look ridiculous without having some water. But what I need to do now is add some nice trees. I've actually got to figure out how I want to put the walkway. I, I also really want to make it so you can actually walk in and play with the otters. So I'm going to make like a glass tunnel that goes in and you can actually, you know, open the door and go in and play with them, I guess. It would be a good idea. I don't know. Probably not a good idea in real life, but for this, I think it'll do the trick. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go over and start mutating the rest of the beavers. And I'm going to try and think of ways to make this pen even better as we go. So I hope you all enjoy it and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we are back getting our groove on, or the otters are getting their groove on. We're not getting our groove on with the otters. That would be really, really weird. 
But uh, we do have a bunch of babies here. It doesn't look like we actually got any cross mutations. We did get triplets here of that uh, bluish purple color. And then we got this one. I thought it was a new mutation for a second, but it's actually um, just this one, I think. And it doesn't look like we got anything else that is new. Uh, we do have the actual no mutation otters over here. And we're attempting to try and get some new mutations while crossing the mutations we already have. In hopes to, you know, get more mutations just across the board in general. And I like doing it this way now where I have a batch of non-mutated uh, whatever's making babies get new mutations. If we get new ones, then we'll throw them in here. And then hopefully in here we'll get both new mutations and cross mutations. So we should just uh, continue working on this. Nothing too crazy, you know. But we will get fully mutated otters today, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, I'm going to be right back and we'll see what we get. I do see some cross mutations. Well, I, th I think I see a cross mutation. This is a new mutation, though. This right here, if I can claim it because it's freaking out. Oh, that has the blue face. I believe this one has a magenta face. I can't tell because it's stuck through the wall. Of course, I can't see it on the other side, but I'm yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, it's got blue. Okay, it just looked like magenta because it was mixed with the red. So we got our first cross mutation, which is pretty sweet, and we got a new uh, lavender colored otter. So that's pretty cool. And I don't think that is one. This one's just red, which is fine. I can't see in this corner. There might be. It doesn't look like we got any cross mutation. That's just a blue face and then the red body. So nothing new over there. But we did get two. Well, not a new one. We got one new one and one with the cross mutation. And I don't think we got anything over here. You're just a normie, right? Yeah. Oh, there's a dead baby otter in here. Oh, it's so sad. Uh, so we're working on it. We just need one more zone on that one to have a fully mutated one. But we want a bunch for the actual zoo enclosure. So we'll keep working at it. I forgot the most important part of getting mutations. The Pego Sacrifice. It's not the highest level Pego ever. It's a level 16, but I think it'll do the job. It'll still do the job. Any Pego sacrifice to the gods, to RN Jesus, is uh, is necessary for any mutation. So, uh, that being said, I don't know if we've got any new... Oh, we got baby otters all up in the joint. What are you guys doing escape? You guys are little ninjas. Oh, we got, we got some more going on in there. We just need to get up in there, see what we got. All right, nothing new. And except for, I can't believe we got some escapees. And I don't think we've got any new alters in here. We do not. So, all right, well, we're getting there. We'll have a fully mutated otter here in no time. All right, so we do have a couple new fully mutated ones. This one almost died. It's a uh, blue with a full green back. And then we've got our purple one here with the magenta back, which looks really nice. And then uh, we've also got a blue one here with a green back. And oh, we got a blue back stripe with a blue chin. Nice. I think that blue back stripe is actually new. Or is it? I think it is new. Cool. So we're getting really close to our fully mutated otters. I gotta actually go check over here and make sure there isn't anything new. And there, uh, that's a gray back. I think that is a natural color though. It is a mutation because it's not on the others, but it is a natural color that the, that the otters can get. So we're getting really close. And uh, I think within a, a couple rounds, we should have a fully mutated one. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Oh geez, you know what? This one's fully mutated. It's got the uh, the white, the uh, the albino white chin, the purple body, and the magenta back. That's our first fully mutated otter. That is so cool. I didn't even realize that it had the, the other mutation on there. Let me just double check. Three. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. I actually really like that combination. It's so nice. Screenshots for days. Yeah. All right, so that's our first one. We need to disable wandering on this one. There we go. And I mean, I could put it in there and still just hope for it to continue breeding, but I don't want to get too many of the magenta. 
Then, um, but yeah, otherwise, that's our first fully mutated one. I don't know how I didn't notice that. And we'll continue on our way. Ooh, we got a new mutation. We got pink with magenta. And so it's, it's, it is a new body mutation. Oh, oh, they're freaking out. Why are you guys freaking out? Um, all right, everything's fine. But yeah, so instead of the salmon color, we ended up with, uh, actual pink and magenta. Eh, it's all right. So... It's time to go back and start actually building out the otter pen for when we are actually ready to put all of our mutated otters in there. So we'll let them breed for a little bit and then we'll come back. We are back and we need to do a little bit of testing. So uh, with these diagonals, I don't want to use walls like we've been using on the rest of it. I want to use these railings, but I need to make sure the otters can't actually walk through them and escape. Uh, it helps if I have it on follow. Uh, because they can actually walk through the regular red one, or... Oh, they can walk... They can walk under the foundations. Alright, so I don't think they'll actually be able to get through the fence. But I will have to make a wall, or put walls all across the bottom of these, so that the otters don't actually escape. Uh, but I think the railings will actually work. And it, doesn't, it should only have to be one high. And then I'll do glass walls. You know, I might actually just do railings around this pen. I don't think we really need to do anything crazier than that. Um, the only other I Well, because we do have these half walls. Hold on, I have to test something out real quick. All right, never mind. I had a brilliant idea for a second, thinking I could turn the glass walls into, like, glass half walls. But that was something that you could do with the actual S-plus railings. It's not something you can do with the actual um, S-plus walls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to only... Oh, come on, game. I'm only going to use railings, and I think that'll look good enough. It'll be the only pen so far that just has railings to keep the dinos in. This is infuriating. Could you kindly snap the way you're supposed to? Thank you so much. Love you long time. Thank you. Okay. Oh, my God. Um, but, yeah. I think this will work, and this is one of the areas where I really want to put some benches in for relaxing. And maybe even put some shops and stuff around this. Make it kind of like a courtyard thing with the with the otters as the main attraction. So we do have some eco stuff in here to actually make like a gift shop. Uh, we have all these like plushies and stuff like that. So I don't know if I'll get into it this episode. We can't put anything there. That's a little too small. But I think we could put a gift shop on this corner here. And... I believe that'll look good. Now, mostly what else is going to go in here is trees. Maybe a little hut for the otters to, like, chillax in. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like the railings are going to be enough. Now, I know I did say I want to make it so that you could actually walk in and play with the otters. But that's not really realistic because otters, can, they can do some damage to you, man. Otters are vicious little creatures. So, I don't know. I think we just need to do a little bit of decorating add some trees some benches and some flowers and get this thing looking just really cool i guess all right we're back and i've fully enclosed everything in railings for now i realized after i did that that at some point i would want to change that now we've got these little small trees which i thought might of course it's raining it is always freaking raining uh, but anyways i thought these trees might look good here uh, just to kind of hide the pond a little bit. We're going to turn down the bloom quality. Or the bloom quality zero. That uh, didn't do much. Okay. Anyways. And then in the previous build, we started messing around with some of these more colorful trees. That's a huge tree. Sweet baby Jesus. Uh, let's go ahead and put it here. How does that look? Uh, that's that's kind of cool. Yeah. I like that one. I actually haven't used that tree yet. And then I've got another here. And I figured it would they would kind of like to play in like the roots of some of these. So I'm kind of decorating this with a lot of trees. And a lot of like tall trees. Because these are small otters. So it's not like they're going to block the view of anything. But it will make this middle area look a little bit better. Um, it helps if I hit the right button. Whoa, it's right in me. It's all up in me. Oh, that's a little too small. Maybe here-ish. Oh, oh, yeah. No, that blocks too much. 
definitely blocks too much. I want to block a little bit, but not a lot of it. You know, you know what I'm trying to say? Um, that's the same tree as that. Yeah. And I've got this, which might not. Oh, that actually looks kind of good there. I, I do like the way those look with like the, the hanging bits. I forget what kind of tree that's called. It is called, I think it's a hammock tree is what they call it in the game, but that's uh in the south we have these little hanging bits and I forget exactly what it's called. But I do like the way that looks. I wanna put some more of these maybe on the outskirts for people to like walk through and stuff. Kinda make it look like a forested area, I suppose. And I'll even put maybe some of these. I'm gonna have to rework all the trees around the zoo in general, uh, just cause uh, I've been messing around a lot more with them. And there's so many more that we can use. Is this, what is this? This is huge, it's humongous. And the texturing on it is atrocious. So we can not use that one. Uh, this is a tiny tree. I don't think it'll go good in there. This might be a good amount of trees. I think what we'll put in the rest of it is like rocks and stuff. But I really do like those. What are those trees called? So in the mod, they're called, uh, yeah, hammock trees. Okay, I was right. We do have these others here that I want to mess around with as well. Just in case. And obviously, we've got the light, the, the lit cypress trees, I believe is what they're called in the mod. Uh, that's going to be too low. Oh, maybe not. Let's see here. I kind of like that. Yeah, we can walk right under it. Not too bad. I don't know. I definitely like using the trees to kind of create like little walkthrough areas. So that's not so bad. And then I've got this one. Okay, this is more of like a little bush, which actually might look good in this corner over here, although I've already got a tree there. Um... Oh, and then this is like another little bush. So we got a couple. Let's go ahead and put that there. That looks out of place. Never mind. That looks terrible. And then, oh my god. Oh yeah, this big humongous tree. That's right. That I've been wanting to use forever. Oh, no, it's all up in everything. <laughs> okay, that's not going to work. Anyway, so it's coming together. I really do like that one tree that hangs over a little bit. And I think this is coming together nicely. We just need some rocks. And obviously our fully mutated otters. All right, so all we gotta do is really put the finishing touches on it. Now, I know I do want uh, people to be able to walk out this way, although I forgot the lamps. Whoops. So I also wanna put some rocks in here, uh, much like the other um, pens that we've built, just to kind of give them something to play on. I thought I had more rock. Oh, that's just pavers rocks. That's why. Okay. And if we go over here, um, I think that might be too much if we put another pillar here. I don't know. I guess we'll kind of see how it goes. Now, I really want to put, uh, yes, these trees, obviously. I do this on all of the builds, and these lit trees need to be right about there. And I, I really put these around where the entrance is. Ooh, there we go. And then I also need to put, um, where are they? Do I have any over here? I don't. Oh, those. I need to get some of those and put them up. So not a whole lot left, but uh, we are getting there. And I really like these lit cypress trees. I wish there was like a hammock tree that had these as well. It would look really, really nice. Like one of those nice, like one of those with like lights and stuff all over it. That would be freaking amazing but anyways i'm gonna finish decorating this uh get some lights put on some bench i still gotta get all the benches and everything so we got quite a bit more to do still but we are getting there slowly but surely oh yeah we're almost done we're just putting the finishing touches on it we do have the otters here as well so I'll show you them. You can see them in the corner there for a second. You guys are going to have to wait just a few minutes. We've got to put these lanterns in. Uh, we got to put the lanterns in as well as uh, this thing, which I always do on these entrance bits here. Although, all of a sudden, they're not too wide. I'm not 100% sure 
what has happened? What the hell is going on? Is that three? Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. Okay, well, this might be our first one that has something different for the entrance. Which I guess isn't necessarily a bad thing. So I guess we'll just use these. Which probably looks better anyways. The the hanging lights might look a little tacky. So, whatever. This is better. Now, I didn't put one on that corner because there's a tree there. I will, however, put one on this corner. And we've already got all of our benches in on the wide bits. Which I think look good. These benches look amazing. So... Pretty happy with that. See, this works fine here. Maybe that's three wide. I didn't yeah, I didn't even realize. Well, shit happens. Can't be helped. Gotta do what you gotta do. Because I, I know this one's three wide, so I wasn't anticipating being able to put anything there. So I put the, the tree, the lit cypress, cypress trees there. And um, yeah, this is what it'll look like when you walk up to it. Freaking amazing otter pen. And... Here are our fully mutated otters. Oh yeah, I I fell in love with the white chin. I really actually didn't like uh, the mutated bellies on these guys. It just it just didn't look right with most colors. I don't know. So, but I really 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 like the actual albino white. I've got the uh, bloom quality turned off, so you can't actually see it. But if you, if I turned it back on, it'd just be exploding. That's how you could tell the difference between the mutation white and the um the regular white but this guy looks amazing we got magenta purple and white oh it's beautiful and then we've got pink red and white which i actually really like as well the i'm pretty sure the purple magenta and white one is my absolute favorite i love it long time and we've got this blue and then like a gray color and then the blue belly and then this guy. This is actually the salmon red, I believe. Although it looks really dark here. Maybe if we get into the light, it's that. It's not like the bright red color. It's that salmon color with a blue back, and then like an orange chin. And then this is the first one we showed, which is purple, blue, and white. Pretty freaking amazing. Now we just gotta put them on wandering, and hope that they don't escape, because otters are escape artists. They really, really are. In real life and in the game. Wow, they're just booking it, going all over the place. So I really hope I don't lose my otters. I wish there was like a mod in the game that like you could put dinos on wander, but it would lock them to like a certain radius. Are you guys all following me? Or you just really just want to run into that one corner? So I don't know. This water area came out a lot better than I anticipated. If you guys do like this, I might actually try and redo a little bit of the beaver area with some of this water stuff. But man, I love these otters. The mutations came out really nice. Alright, we had an otter run out this way. I don't see it anywhere. Where did it go? Okay, he's just... <laughs> he's booking it. He's running all the way over here. So the otters by far, like, because of their size, have like the biggest pen. And we got a non-mutated one here, which we could put on Wander. This is our original one. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys all like it. It's a little, it's something a little bit different, and thank you all for all of the recommendations you provided. Uh, it really helped me out, and I think we built the best possible otter pen that we could. So, I, I think I'm going to start doing that more in the future, where I'll make an episode where you guys can recommend, or maybe when we're doing the breeding episodes, you guys should recommend what you guys want to see in the actual zoo enclosure, because this worked out really well. I'm really, really happy with what we got. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode. That is all I've got for today. As always, don't forget to leave your comments for zoo enclosures you want to see next, as well as mutated dinos that you want to see next. And if you guys are new to the channel and you enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe. And those of you that are wondering if there is a full zoo tour, yes, there is. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below, or you could just uh, check out the channel. You know, take a little look around. It should be there. I just posted it like two days ago. But anyways, that's all I've got. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.